This is your grandmother's? Correct. So your grandmother was born when? 1912. So 1912. So this particular piece is a Gibson, and I saw one other like this, not in this condition, in Indianapolis, I want to say, four or five years ago. That one was worth about $4,000. Yours is in better condition. Probably worth about $7,000. What are you looking for? You're looking for the design and also the craftsmanship that only a couple of companies can do. Gibson, uh, Martin, uh, and of course mandolins. Mandolins were much more popular than the guitars in the early years of the 20th century, like banjos. Much more popular. They were very popular for an immigrant environment or an immigrant uh, community because the mandolin was a little bit easier for them to play. Children were oftentimes first trained in string instruments like mandolins before they moved to violins or um, cellos or basses or such. It's really quite beautiful. It's in gorgeous condition. Couple of inclusions, abrasions, fancy museum word for scratches area. You have, again, a lot of care was taken here. All of the elements still in good condition. Does it play? Have you played it? Yeah, I, uh, about a year ago, I had cleaned my Great. local company. Great. And the wife knew how to play. Knew how to play. And she played it for me. It's the first time it's probably been played in eight years. Fantastic. It's worth about $7,000. Thank you, thank you, thank you for keeping Grandma's mandolin. Beautiful.